I would say girls should consider a career in women's rights advocacy because um, it is deeply rewarding and necessary. And if you're passionate about it, and it takes passion. These are, there are two things that I say. Becoming an advocate and a teacher, you really need to care about it. If you don't, it can be really taxing and it can take a lot from you and you may not end up enjoying it. And while doing the necessary work of taking care of yourself, uh, looking out for the kind of emotional demand that comes with doing advocacy work of any sort, um, I would recommend doing it because it's really rewarding and really necessary for the world we live in. And we are beneficiaries of the hard work and the, the, the resistance of women that lived before us, women that pushed back when, when it was really difficult, women that asked questions when no one was willing to answer them, women that imagined a better world, this world that we live in, where women are allowed to pursue any career they want. And that was possible because people did this kind of work, did women's rights advocacy before it was called that. And I think it would be powerful if young girls pursued a work in women's rights advocacy because it will make the world better for everyone. Social change doesn't come because we talked about it or we hoped for it. It takes a lot of work. It takes more than just saying, this is not fair. It takes someone saying, and I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to protest when it, where I need to protest. I'm going to ask questions. I'm going to be a voice where there people are not able to speak because we can also build a world where people actually can exercise their own voice. And that's why I would encourage girls to consider a career in advocacy. And it could be on any issue, but on gender, on gender equality, it's something that I deeply care about and it makes a difference.